What's up, everybody? Welcome back. It appears from a couple of the comments that there are a few folks a little upset that I didn't show my engine bay more in the video where I was talking about what I did to turbo my non-turbo protege. So, figured I'd come out and kind of show you all a little bit more. Um, this car was bone stock. It was an ES model. It had absolutely nothing done to it. It was not turbo when I purchased it. So we've got an eBay turbo manifold for the 2.0 Mazda Protégé. I've got a max speeding rods 2860 turbo, which I love the thing. Um, my inlet pipe, you can see down there. Um, I'm running an eBay front mount intercooler and eBay piping kit. I've got an HKS replica blow-off valve and an eBay oil catch can. Um, Calder spark plugs and the Mazda Speed ECU, which the ECU is under the passenger side front floorboard. Um, super easy to swap. And I can't really get under the car with the phone right now, but I tap my oil pan as high up as possible for the turbo drain line. Uh, my turbo feed line, which you can see goes all the way around the back there. I teed off of where my oil pressure switch is with a uh, oil feed line kit off of eBay. It was pretty simple to use. Only trouble I had was finding the correct fitting for the oil feed on the top of the turbo. But a hose and fitting shop eventually got me hooked up. I honestly don't remember the thread pitch and size. Um, but otherwise, it didn't really take a whole lot. Um, the turbo, manifold, intercooler, and piping is really the biggest bit of it. The Mazda Speed ECU. Blow off valve of your choice. I highly recommend running a catch can. These cars have a little bit of blow by and it just runs better with a catch can. Colder spark plugs if you're going to be running a decent amount of boost. And your oil lines and coolant lines for the turbo. Which my coolant lines came off of the throttle body back in there. Um, there's one on either side, uh, top and bottom. And one I used for the feed, one for the return. So my throttle body doesn't have any coolant going to it, but I live in Florida, so... Not really a big deal for me. Cruise control is still there. It's just not hooked up at this moment. But it works with the Mazda Speed ECU as well. And I think that about covers it. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. And I'll be glad to put up another video answering any questions you have. Thanks for stopping by again.